letting Tuchel more problems than anyone has since he took over. He should have 16. Schoolboy playing at this level, keeping his place, having come in last week. Shooting chance on target, nothing. Oh, Lopez and uh, then just try to knock it past him, but uh, unfortunately went out of touch. Friend of mine and a uh, good friend of the family. He uh, was at Fulham many, many years ago as a player and uh, he's now coaching at Arsenal. He's a real good lad. In good positions, not in their own half. Only disappointed not to have made a better contact with that. Quick swish at it with his right peg. Yeah, it was almost an air shot, wasn't it? Again, Harvey Val, though, the creator. Yeah, they're squeezing very high, and even when Chelsea get on it, Ben, they can't get out. And uh, as I said one or two slack pass not uh, helping that call. So Arsenal at the moment very much uh, on top. Here's a gungbo. I watched score at Cobham against the Blues last year for the youth team. Is he the gungbo? Playing on the left side. That's a Joe Hayes, Joe Hayes dived caught. in. Well, I think 100% yellow card. I, I think you're right. I think he did send me pull out, and I think the defender saw it coming, which was the other thing that aided his course. He sort of jumped out of the way. Canola finds Salah Ulad, and now this is Charlie Patino, a scorer last weekend against Manchester United. Balogun, look, the system's flowing better than ours. Arsenal resist and keep. Balogun dropping back, and Patino as well. Said so we kept possession and kept it away from the Arsenal midfield. Oh, still going a bit more route one and successfully so. Dinil Arsenal two given away here and they're coming forward. It could get worse. It has got worse. And it's a horror opening 23 minutes for Chelsea here. Aware he's going to play it. Then there's a foul, which the referee does well to Charlie Webster, makes a foul there, but basically let's play. Takes him inside the defender and uh, he just feeds it into that far corner. Simple finish, but... Patino oh. didn't mean that. And he's going to continue his run. Too much. It's too much. Been a new year, relatively, anyway. And he did come back before the end of it. It looked like... So Confidently done by Patino. Between men, and then they're learning, and uh, they'll, they'll, Sam will learn from that. Like Arsenal here. I mean, they're being brave, but they, will, they want the coaches now want them to be brave on the ball. Years ago, if Mickey draws a Stevie pinch a few yards there. Chunky challenge, possession turned over. Lopez on. I was going to say, let's see if he can defend, because he can certainly go forward, but uh, he did well on that occasion. He's got Webster for company, but he's found Patino. Easy as we know, playing against 10, you, you think, right, should have more of the ball, should do more with it. But it doesn't always be a surprise, really. And Arsenal will be far happier now if they can do a bit of this to, yeah. to kill the time, because they've been under the pump for the last five or ten. Yeah, they have, and they've ridden their luck a little bit as well. They just need to keep the ball. And Dion Rankin is there with him. And Arsenal have passed their way around that very nicely. Look out. That's going to go off. Thankfully, yeah. that's overhit by Patino, who's been excellent in his first half. He's got a real nice left foot, the kid, and uh, that was a real. Uh, really, that we try and work out now. Charlie <laughs> Patino will be fancying this. Don't be far. Had one of these in the first half. Will Patino go low? It might even be Salah Ulad who takes it. No, it is. Patino goes for oh. the dink and. Flicks off the wall. Flick there. I'm having to look at it again, but uh, no, it's not. It's um, June Susat Bell. He got a. Xavier Simons going in as part of the back three. Oh, doing it. That's never, ever, ever a free kick. Getting tight areas. That was just a bit too tight, even for him. And he's had a, an air shot on a tough volley, and that one there pulled. The disappointing thing, he, he's technically very good, and you'd expect him to be better in, in them areas and, and at least sort of test the keeper, but uh, he hasn't done on either. But on the other end, as you say, would have been a real, real sickness. He's just trying to nip in and pinch it. But almost to the day, a year after an awful injury. So, Interesting to see him playing right side of the back three here, having come on. Simons. 
Oh, Silco Thomas it. had to get a piece of that. The break is on in any case. Beeret wants his hat trick. It's Harvey Vale. He's in a chase with Harvey Vale. Oh, and safe. he's put it wide. He's yes, I mean, who is it? No, that, that, that but Silco Thomas, that was the challenge, yeah. Then the ball's played over the top. And he's one on one with a keep. Look at Harvey Vale. I mean, that's a striker coming back. 20 minutes ish left at Rainy King's Meadow. Good, good. One more, one more. One more. Give it. Go on, go forward, go forward, he didn't have anyone around him at all. Just uh, well, no one in a red and white shirt, anyway. And, um, and didn't aid our calls, but can't put it all on him. No, for sure. They finished a couple very nicely. They've had a little bit of luck about it too. Chelsea have not finished the ample amount of chances that. In fact, they're already saying they can't even imagine how they're going to field a team with no forwards available. We shall see. Uh, getting the excuses in early. Could get worse, of course. Brilliant, brilliant. One more, one. Time it. Sell the ball. Yeah, well, I would say, Ben, and I don't ever want to praise Arsenal players too much. I won't do it just yet. No, the Beeret's looking for another, and he nearly got there. Well, that was just enough smack in the face in terms of goal difference as well for what that's worth and Arsenal are going to be very happy Patino here has had a very good game for them Walter's making the run Oli Inca is the short option